we are going to now talk about the second tool from the list it's AI Enhancer Pro let's open it up so that's the default view of AI Enhancer Pro in here you can upload a photo that you want to enhance an image you can actually upload multiple uh, images if you want uh, today we will just upload one and I will go with you through all the options that we have so let's start with it with the upscale when it comes to upscale you can uh, upscale by ratio or wave width and height so let's say that I just want to do a simple upscale I um, will mark upscale times 2 and then you can see that my resolution from uh, 1499 moved to 2998 two times and if I click three times the resolution will increase up to four times where we are reaching huge resolutions of nearly 6000 to, to 4000 pixels and that's how you can set up uh, a simple upscale it's proportional uh, it keeps the proportions of the original photo now if we go to the second option for upscaling we can here decide for example how wide the image should be and let's say that I want it to be 2000 pixels wide and the height will be automatically applied to keep the proportions intact so I can see here it's 1344 that's how it works now that uh, we know how to use the upscale feature let's go to framing framing is mostly useful for product photos for e-commerce and other objects but it allows you to create for example canvas around your main picture or main object you can uh, center crop your object in the image you can content or item crop uh, depending on what you have on your image that you want to center or crop accordingly when it comes to bounce it scales an image until the larger side reaches the edge of canvas established by width and height that's a more advanced feature for uh, experienced users also um, the cover scales an image until the smaller side reaches the edge of canvas established by width and height that we have in the previous feature so that's how they work if you want you can set up the color of the bounds of the border that uh, the system will paint so now we have framing processed now let's go to background processing background processing is also a feature that is very popular among uh, e-commerce customers you can do multiple things in this single feature you can remove your background completely you can remove the background and uh, replace it with a solid color for example you can pick from uh, the color picker from the existing colors here and just process the image with a new color as background apart from this you can also remove and generate completely new background from scratch in order to do so you can either just simply write anything there uh, for example standing on a beach and the item will be automatically exchanged in the prompt for whatever it is on your photo you can use existing scenes that uh, are here it's over 100 various scenes created for e-commerce and you can pick any of them you can try them out you can come out with uh, come up with some of your very own prompts which is very nice and for example uh, we can set up a monster leaves as a background drop and then we can use object size if you have a good product photo you can decide how big the object should be on the final photo so you can make it smaller or bigger and obviously if it's smaller it will be further away from the sides and then you have more space for your background to 
play an, an important role. But you don't have to use it. If you turn it off, the object will just stay the same size as it is on the original photo. And that's how the background processing works. It's a very powerful tool. I recommend uh, learning more about it. The next one is enhance face details. If uh, you, for example, are upscaling a photo, uh, it's quite useful if there are people on the photos to actually uh, mark that feature. It will uh, upscale the whole image, but it will pay a lot of attention towards the faces to make sure that they look good. Uh, also, might be helpful if you are actually um, if you actually have AI generated images. Sometimes the faces don't look that good. If you need to upscale those images anyway, you can actually use face and hands uh, on the fly and try to um, improve on that photo a little bit. Reduce noise is a great feature. I highly recommend using version 2 and reduce noise helps you clean the photo and you can then easily process this photo without noise which will help you for example to uh, improve the brightness, the color, the saturation, many other things. Reducing noise mostly is very positive uh, when it comes to uh, final results. Sharpen. Sharpen is an important tool and it's usually used against blurry photos. If your photo is blurry, there is some movement that the camera wasn't able to catch with um, enough sharpness, then you can try to use this sharpen uh, feature to reduce the blur to make it more sharp. Color and lighting helps you correct the exposure. The AI will always try to make the exposure look as natural as possible. So it's not the tool for achieving like unusual results or a very specific um, stylized lighting. It's rather to get to the, to the point zero, to the default state, the most natural, the most intuitive version of the image that you can then work on. It's a quite nice uh, tool. I highly recommend trying it out, playing around with saturation, light and white balance and uh, various options. Because every image is a little bit different, you might have different results. And the very last feature from the list for AI Enhancer Pro is the advanced section. In advanced section, we can do two things. First is we can keep the ICC profile of the original image. It's quite useful for some cases. And we can also decide the file format. We can set it up as auto. If we are exporting, for example, images with the background removed and we want the image to have transparent background, I recommend using PNG format. For other photos and images, JPEG or WebP will be sufficient. And that's it. So if we are happy with our options, we selected all the options that we are interested in, all the operations, we can click Enhance. And Regardless of how many features we need applied to our photo, we always pay just one credit per enhance, which is very nice. And as you can see, after clicking enhance and waiting about one, two seconds for the image to process, we can see the final result, how it's changed a little bit. And that's the AI Enhancer Pro advanced features for professionals.